From the uh, time more than 35 years ago, when Lord Rutherford discovered that uh, nitrogen could be transformed into oxygen by uh, bombardment with uh, swiftly moving helium nuclei, the alpha rays from radium, scientists have been seeking ways to accelerate various atomic particles to very high speeds for nuclear investigations. In the 1920s, the first uh, particle accelerators were simply uh, high voltage, high vacuum discharge tubes. Well, now in those days, uh, uh, it was found that perhaps uh, uh, such a particle accelerator would only be able to produce one or two million volt uh, uh, accelerated particles. And it was necessary to consider other means of uh, reaching much higher energies, tens of millions of volts or hundreds of millions of volts. Uh, well, now every child knows that in a swing, one can uh, reach a high swinging velocity either by one big push as in the high voltage accelerator, uh, or by a succession of small pushes, uh, pumping up in a swing. Well, the cyclotron, which was uh, invented in 1929, uh, makes use of this second principle of giving particles successive pushes in time with uh, their oscillatory motion. Now, here we have a um, a mechanical model of the cyclotron which perhaps might be helpful in understanding how it works. There are uh, two semicircular electrodes in the vacuum chamber of the cyclotron uh, which, uh, so to speak, move up and down in potential. Here we have two plates that move up and down in potential and the particles are generated here at the center so if they start here and this is up and this half is down, they will go across downhill and pick up energy. <clears throat> now in the cyclotron, the particles are caused to go in their circles by a powerful magnetic field. A large magnet is used. And the up and down hill is provided by an oscillating electric field, electric voltage, a radio frequency voltage that goes in step with the circulation of the particles. They go around hundreds of times and therefore they acquire hundreds of times as much energy as corresponds to the, uh, the, the, the maximum accelerating voltage on the uh, cyclotron chamber. Now here is the uh, first uh, attempt to build a cyclotron in 1930 and of course it worked a little bit and so we naturally kept it as a souvenir.